Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. I'm Professor Powerline and in the last part we started the SS Anne. Um, I intend to finish it in this episode and we'll see what else we can do get done. Something I should mention is Charmander Evolved off screen is now level 18. So he'll start being useful again. And like I said off camera I battled everyone else in this boat. These are the last two trainers um, I think and the only item left in the boat. So we'll do this real quick and then we'll get on to actual relevant parts of the storyline. Yay! Critically, go figure. I need a different attack. Alright, I'm gonna change it, uh, do this really quick because we have some place important, we have something important to do, and I don't want to run out of time with videos, so. That went well. Righty there. And it'll be the gentleman. You could skip her, but I'm going to because I'm be done with this boat after this part and I don't won't have a chance to go back. I love when Pokemon use attacks that have um, that won't actually help them. Wow, really? Come on, wake up. Please wake up. I said please. Thank you. Couldn't do it when I said please. Right. So I have to start real quick here. This is bad. Come on in this real quick and yes. All right. Done with that, and we grew a level. Much better. And we got a rare candy. I recommend you save that for something we're going to need later. Um, I'm going to have to walk off the boat real quick and heal. But like I said, you want to save that rare candy because up ahead here we're going to get our uh, one more Pokemon to our team. And it's going to be a little bit under leveled, so... Yeah. Only take a second. Oh, thank God for two speed. This game would be unbearable to do without. Once you've played on two speed, you'll never be able to imagine playing back on one speed again. To see if he remembers us. Nope. Okay, we've introduced ourselves to that guy like four times now. That's pretty swell. That's right, I said swell. And I recommend you start with your Pikachu in this. You have Pikachu in first position here. Alright, here we go. Our, I think, fourth rival battle with John here. He's already got 40 kinds of Pokemon. You haven't been wasting any time. Alright, let's do this. And I like how they actually changed his sprite around a little bit there. He's not in the same pose. There's a lot more detail in this game than a lot of people think, which I always thought was really cool. Anyway, it's the first Pokemon, no trouble at all. In fact, if you've battled all the trainers around here, this entire battle should be pretty impossibly easy. And he's still training a frickin' Rattata. I do not know, and it's seriously underleveled too. I mean, okay, it's an inferior Pokemon, and it's inferiorly leveled. Why do you have it? I bet now that I've said that it'll somehow beat Charmeleon. No, nope, maybe not. And it was scratch real quick. My cat's howling again. I must have the only cat ever that howls. It's ridiculous. I'll battle with Ivasaur real quick here. Like I said, this battle, not hard. One more Pokemon. Eevee! Since we've battled four on four so far, I'll just finish this with Mew. It's a new move, Mega Punch, or not.
That is a powerful attack. Alright, that takes care of that. He gives us a thousand three hundred dollars. Where do you get that kind of money? Hell yeah, I swear I'll kill you. Okay, well that's over with. Now we go up here to the last part of the boat we haven't been to. And here's the captain. And you might wonder why is he facing this trash can? Is there an item in there? Nope, just vomit. I wonder what happens if you click on Pikachu. Just his usual brand of, um, well, whatever he is. And now if you click on him, he's feeling ill, and you rub the captain's back. That's just creepy. On top of that, it heals him. I mean, what kind of pathetic illness was that? All you had to do was rub his back? Were we the first people to do that? I suppose it's recently always kind of awkward. You know, he gives us TM1. Or HM1, I'm sorry. Um, HM1 stands for um, Hidden Machine. Um, these are pretty weak attacks, not very practical usually. But they allow you to access parts of the game that you normally couldn't get to. And the bummer of them is you cannot delete them. Once you've taught them, they are stuck. So it's good to have a precarious Pokemon with you to just teach these moves to. We call them HM Slaves. Ah, uh, the boat is leaving. Goodbye, boat. You are possibly the slowest boat ever. Okay, almost done. Here we go. Can I have my controls back? There we go. And we can't ever go back there. So like I said, make sure you're thorough in there. It's a whole lot of experience points to miss. Alright, having done that, I got TM... or H... freaking heck, HM01. Got a rival battle and finished up the SS hand. I realize this has been a shorter video, but I think I'm gonna cut it off there. Uh, you know what? I actually can show you one more. Th no, 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 no. It's two Pokemon Center. I'll show you one more thing before I go. I don't want to carry an HM slave, so unfortunately, I'm just going to teach the HMs to my party. Unfortunately, I'm gonna teach this particular one to Ivasar. teach get rid of tackle I guess and now to use it you just go up to this to a trees that look like this press Pokemon click on Ivasar click cut and there it is now we can get to the gym and that's what we'll be doing in the next part so in the next part we're going to take on the um, gym leader of this town and we'll see where it goes from there alright see you then